This video is brought to you by jvjujitsuonline.com, the home to all JV Jiu Jitsu content, your source for strike based Jiu Jitsu. Check it out. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez. In this lecture, I want to discuss positional basics. And we are discussing core ground positions. Core ground positions are broken up into four lectures. This is part one of the lectures, which I am calling the Global Overview. So let's get started. There are three configuration types on the ground. Chest to back, chest to chest, and supplemental. There are a total of 14 chapters or perspectives from these three configuration types. Some positions are linked and there is a hierarchy of positions within these three configuration types. Some positions are more important and more used than others. Chest to back is made up of turtle and the back mount. The opponent is facing away from you. These are vulnerable finishing positions for opponents. Optimized finishing positions or OFPs are available from either turtle or back mount. Arm locks are available from both turtle and back mount. Now let's discuss chest to chest positions. Chest to chest is made up of the guard, side mount, and mount. The opponent is facing you. Most battles are fought from this core position. The leg configuration determines the position. Side mount is the central hub and begins the meat grinder. Mount is a secondary attack position from side mount. And guard gives the illusion of salvation. Let's discuss supplemental positions. Supplemental positions are made up of leg locks and arm locks. These positions can be achieved from a variety of ground positions. These positions are not related to one another and generally don't work together. These positions attack the extremities of the body, the legs and the arms. These are usually secondary or supplemental attack positions. So chest to back is made up of turtle and back mount. Chest to chest is made up of the guard, side mount and mount. And supplemental is made up of leg locks and arm locks. Chest to back and chest to chest positions are linked through a twisting transition. Supplemental positions attack the opponent's extremities, the arms, and the legs. Supplemental positions are independent from each other and can be reached from other core ground positions. The link comes from a twisting transition that I call the meat grinder from side mount to turtle and the mount grinder from mount to back mount. Arm traps, guillotines, and darces are available during the turn. Quarter turns from side mount or mount are required to complete the transition. That was a global overview of core ground positions. In the next few parts, parts two, three, and four, we're going to discuss the chest to back position in depth. We're going to discuss the chest to chest position in depth, and we will discuss the supplemental positions in depth. Each one of those chest to chest, chest to back, and supplemental will be its own video. Make sure you watch all of the videos to get a full understanding of what the master plan has in store for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.